maybe this morning you're trying to get your laundry done because you don't want to run the dryer as it heats when up. When it gets hot. Yes. I learned that lesson yes. last couple weeks. Oh, yep. it's a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, with the dryer comes those socks that it eats. It's one of the more frustrating but common things when you're doing laundry. I found that ours, t ours does eat socks. It eats socks. I am always missing a sock. I yes. I've been pretty consistent with pairing up my socks, but it really, it bugs me because mm -hmm. I do like my socks to match. So yes. you get this one leftover and, and it just <laughs> ruins your day. Instead of throwing away that mismatched sock, there are plenty of surprising uses in your daily life. You can repurpose it for something fun. Mm -hmm. Joining us live this morning with some DIY options you may not have thought of before, lifestyle expert Victoria Sophia. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be I with you. I say I'm excited to see what you've got prepared here. Okay, so for your car windows that always get fogged up, you can take the silica cat litter that you have, pour some into any you know lonely sock that you have at home, and make a little stitch at the top. I just happen to have a cat sock, you know. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, and then you just put it on the dashboard, and once it goes on the dashboard, you're able to get all the moisture will absorb into the cat litter, and it's unscented, so you don't have to worry about that, and then you don't have to worry about fogged windows anymore. What? Wow. That keeps it from fogging? How long does that last? It'll let, you can do this overnight. It'll work all the time. Just make sure you have it in the car. And then, you know, in about a month, you might want to switch it out for another one. But, you know, it's a great way to use a sock that you oh. thought you were going to cross. Who yeah. would have who would have funk it? I I yeah, okay. I love well, that. Well also you have a way to use a sock to help make your clothes softer in the dryer? Yeah, so you were just talking about the dryer. Usually you buy those, you know, wool dryer balls for about $15. Instead of that, you can buy a pack of three tennis balls or about $2 usually. And you can wrap it with hopefully a wool sock if you have one. If not, you can just use one of the socks that you have. You cut the foot of the sock off right there. And then you do a little stitch and you can have some fun with it too if it's a wool sock. That way you can see that this is something that'll make your clothes fluffy and they'll dry and they'll come out softer. Use about two of them if you're gonna be uh, doing a large load of, of, of drying. So that's what you so it's fun and it's really, you know, eco friendly and it's also affordable. Yeah, yeah, I don't think the dryer could eat that sock when it right. has it's the like tennis karma. ball. In it's it. like yes. you take this sock back <laughs> and, you, and you don't eat yes. this one. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I love that idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, next idea you have for faulty windows. How does this one work? Oh, so faulty windows. Sometimes we have like a draft and then, you know, it's very cold in your house or if there's, you know, heating, the heating will, the heat will escape. Um, so then you can take a boot sock. We have them in all sizes depending on your window. You might have different types of boot socks in your home that you've lost. Um, and then here's one for a larger one. You take the fill that you usually see in teddy bears, the polyester fill, yeah. and you kind of stuff it in. And then you're able to put it right on the window or at the base of your door so there isn't a draft. And that way it's, you know, it's insulation right there. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, and that's way cheaper than they sell those pre-made, you know. Right. But, yeah. But you might as well just do that. Yeah. Okay, um, so I hate to admit this on TV, but I kind of have smelly feet with certain shoes of mine. So I'm very interested in this next one because it's a way to make the shoes smell better using a sock. And it's something that we all think about, you know, you could take a sock, the lily sock. We always have these like either a rubber band or a twist tie that we get on products that we buy. Fill it with a cup of baking soda, put it in your sneaker or your shoe overnight, and then when you wake up the next morning, it's like an odor eater right oh, there. Yeah. But it's and, it, and, and does that last like for several uses or do you have to? It lasts for about two or three uses and, and, and it's it overnight. So it's, it's a great way to make sure that, you know, you have better smelling shoes so okay. for the next I need so something. finally you can handle that that shoe problem. I, Emily's <laughs> over here constantly like oh god no. no. It's more when I take the them off. The social distancing yes. has been great. <laughs> that's no. true. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's yeah. a cool idea though. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, this one I'm interested about relieving sore muscles with a okay. sock. What you got? You take a sock and you fill it with uncooked rice. Okay. You, put that, you sew it together. Now with that, I'm sewing my little baby stitches here. And then you put it into the microwave for a minute at a time. It'll become a warm compress. You place it onto any part of, you know, where you have the uh, sore muscle. Or if you have a migraine, you might you could use it on your head. Mm. Um, and there's also a way to, for aromatherapy, if you wanted eucalyptus or peppermint, you put a couple of drops on it. And then it'll, it's actually like a, a way to have like a little self-care moment. So yeah. we have multiple I love that. Yeah. I did that. I made a rice sock after I um, got my tonsils out. 
Oh, and that that yeah. came in that came in clutch, but it, it wasn't like a, a mismatched sock. So next time I lose a sock, I'm gonna have to just use now the you know other what one to do with it. for a permanent rice sock. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And real quickly, you have a way to use a sock to help with painting. Right. So when you're painting, you know, you I'm not the best painter, so paint will splash everywhere. So sometimes you pick like the worst shoes that you have, and sometimes you don't have the option because you know we're tossing things out, donating things. We don't have that many. Take a sock that you know you only have one of left. Put it over your whatever shoe or boot or sneaker that you're going to be wearing for painting and then it'll fall on top of the sock instead of just ruining your shoes because sometimes the paint does not come off of the there shoe. Yeah, I have plenty of shoes I was, paint and you're on always them. doing painting projects. I know projects, I am. So. Yes. There you go. Yeah, I love those ideas. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for the tips, Victoria. Some fun stuff I'd never thought of before. So yeah. for, for more lifestyle tips, you can check out Victoria's blog. We'll post a link at coin.com. Have a good one.